We begin tonight with a drama over the Nunes memo. Keep it honest, it is in many ways a phony drama. Phony because the release of the memo is, by all accounts, a foregone conclusion. It is and always has been. Now, we should point out that the document in question is not some bipartisan finding of fact from the House Intelligence Committee. It appears it will essentially be something of a press release, possibly just emailed out, perhaps under the lead ahead of the Republican House Intelligence Committee membership, chaired, of course, by Congressman Devin Nunes. Based on underlying intelligence, he himself has not even read. So despite grave concerns from the director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, as well as from officials at the Department of Justice, the memo is in all likelihood going to be released. Now, how do we know this? Well, beyond the reporting by us and other news outlets, we know it because the president himself said he wants it out. He's been calling for it. Caught on an open mic on Tuesday night, he said the odds of it being released are 100 percent. Let's release the memo. Oh, yeah. oh, don't worry. 100 percent. Can you imagine that? Well, again, the grave concerns of the Republican FBI director, who the president himself chose, have not swayed him. And according to our own new reporting, those grave concerns have not gone away. Just yesterday, you'll recall, the bureau said, and I'm quoting here, quote, we have grave concerns about material omissions of fact that fundamentally impact the memo's accuracy. Still, the president wants it out, even though White House aides worry that Director Ray may resign if it does come out. The president wants it out, even though there are concerns that the work of tens of thousands of law enforcement and counterintelligence professionals may be smeared. In fact, we learned just today that the president has been telling friends that he wants the memo made public, not as a way of rebuilding the FBI, as he promised, or in the name of transparency, as House Speaker Ryan and other Republicans have claimed, but as a way of impugning the Russia investigation and the people running it. Every indication we have from the president, from his son Don Jr., who's been tweeting up a storm lately, and others, is that this is about attacking the FBI and Justice Department. So any drama over will he or won't he is self-evidently phony. He will. What's also still not known is if the White House had any role in the crafting of this memo with staffers for Chairman Nunes. Nunes has said he did not have contact with the White House, but when pressed by a Democratic member of the House Intelligence Committee about whether any of his staffers had contact with the White House, Nunes didn't answer. And Sarah Sanders apparently has no answers either. Did Devin Nunes work with anybody in the White House on that memo? Not that I know of. I, he wouldn't answer that question. Right, and, and, and I just don't know the answer. I don't know of anyone that he did, and I haven't had a chance to... He has to... worked with the White House before when it comes to intelligence and the Russia investigation. Uh, look, we have uh, certainly coordinated with uh, members of Congress, as is appropriate, as to specifics on this. I just don't know the answer. I'm not aware of any conversations or coordination with Congressman Nunes.